Hello, and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the What Kind of Man at YouTube with a, another event video. Now, as always, I've uh, been attending the Australian Open Model Expo, and uh, slowly but surely, me and uh, people in the uh, Gunpla side of the hobby has been getting more and more involved. Traditionally, this video has been divided into two sections, the Gunpla and the general scale modeling but due to this year we're being more involved and felt to be more inclusive uh, with the organizing running and just generally being a part of the subjects of the event i feel it's uh time that everything goes into uh, one video as it is turning out to be the one community uh, we weren't ostracized whatsoever and if anything we're included in activities and conversations with all the clubs and attendees and individuals on the day. All in all, the most important part, I had an absolutely lovely time. It was a fantastic event, probably one of the uh, best I've attended, which I know I do say every single year. Went with uh, the Mecca Workshop, uh, Gundam Club Australia, and Gumpla Builders Australia, the um, official Hobby Co. backed group. The Gumpla Builders Australia had an official uh, display based off the forums and Facebook group showcasing all the build-offs and group builds we've had and uh, the models that were based around that. Gundam Club Australia, who uh, second time they've been here, first time they've uh, manned their stall and uh, put in a lot of effort, had all of the kits from their club. And uh, Mecha Workshop, which focused more on general scale modeling, uh, free reign for the members to display whatever they like, and a 3D printed section. Now, I've only entered two models, the Grimoire in the Gundam category, very competitive, some amazing work, we'll get back into that. And a 3D printed Cubone Skull, which is um, a Pokemon Skull uh, more will be explained when uh, the video about that model will come out. Didn't quite win anything, but the majority of my attentions has been on the Gunpla Builders World Cup as well as uh, putting this event together. I'm actually quite content what's happened. Uh, Ghost of Zeo, Zeon, Scott, he did amazingly well uh, walking away with the first place uh, trophy as well as his efforts with running Gunpla Builders Australia. The club got uh, best club display, which was uh, quite a uh, surprise. This is a uh, public choice award, and uh, he put a lot of effort putting together the um, table display stand and uh, organising the kits. Now, make a workshop. We had a very uh, amount of displays, uh, some figures, tanks, just whatever our members generally fancy. I also had some uh, different bits and pieces up, though we did focus on a 3D printed display. The club uh, in our monthly meets has been playing for larger riffraff, and we had a heap of uh, dolls and heads and unfinished bits as well as uh, my finished bits. They attracted a lot of attention from other modelers that are interested in uh, getting into the hobby. And we've sort of uh, passed on as much knowledge as they can, as well as leading people to uh, my videos on the subject. Our other member, Mark, M-O-T-D, the gentleman that won a few Gunpla Builders World Cup Australian heats, uh, did very well in the uh, figure painted uh, category and he walked away with a few trophies. Now, overall look of the, uh, overall of all the uh, kits on display, uh, I'm guessing from what I've been told about our uh, entry numbers, uh, it's about the same amount of kits as uh, last year on display. Though uh, looking at all the competition models, I have to say the standard is definitely very high, very competitive, uh, splintering away uh, into more finer and finer uh, categories. I absolutely enjoyed and loved looking at the um, armor tanks and uh, dioramas. The, attention to detail and the creativity behind the dioramas and the weathering of those tanks were a massive inspiration. I noticed my other peers who also build Gundam models were really into them. They were just a few notches above us. Just lovely, lovely work. The uh, painting in the uh, figurative areas was just astounding, beautiful. 
the cars were flawless, the aircraft soft camouflage and airbrushing and masking and whatnot was superb as always. Some uh, very light and very subtle uh, weathering. And uh, overall, there was just so many uh, interesting and uh, wonderful entries to look at. Uh, the other clubs have put in a very crisp, very professional-looking stands with uh, themes and uh, you know big tablecloths and construction and uh, research material and signage and whatnot. Stuff that we're not too into, but uh, they were lovely to look at. A lot of thought behind and effort, which was contributed to all the members of part of those clubs. As always, the Gundam category had a lot of kits. Actually, a lot of the more diorama-based uh, Gundam kits were uh, removed in the science fiction diorama uh, section, which uh, also battled it out quite uh, hard. Uh, the models in there was just of an amazingly high standard. Loved looking at the kits and uh, whatnot. Outside of the uh, competition, which, to add... I actually heard no controversies whatsoever from the uh, judging. Um, everything seems to be of being quite fair uh, this time around this year. Uh, very well run. There was uh, traders around the outer rim of the hall, as uh, always. Uh, mostly the same old as every year. Some great new uh, stock and whatnot from the usual traders. The couple of new guys are a lot more uh, Gundam kits this year than uh, last year, especially from Hobby HQ that uh, had quite a few vintage items in uh, stock. Uh, between him, uh, a couple of odd items, as well as uh, the swap and sell, which was uh, quite good this year. Uh, a lot of uh, different and new stuff I haven't seen before. Uh, spent a little too much money, uh, definitely bought too many kits, but uh, I'm definitely content and very happy with uh, what I walked away with. Though uh, this year, uh, compared to other years, it was just extremely social uh, networking and uh, talking to a lot of the other clubs and uh, modelers. Uh, surprised uh, to be uh, invited to a camp or an event with the um, IPMS. I'll be uh, looking into getting a uh, joint um, meeting with them and uh, the Mecca Workshop for uh, fun. So it's just really good to see how uh, the entirety of the uh, community, which is also open to uh, RC and card modelers, which more clubs from them, is just coming together. The event, uh, as always, ran over the three days. And got to say, nothing really dampened my spirits or can't say there was anything negative to mention uh, whatsoever. Uh, there was a few uh, communication concerns before the event, but uh, everything just ran so smoothly and so well. I'm absolutely uh, positive and sure that uh, next year is definitely on. And uh, there'll be the uh, usual setup from um, now, the uh, three clubs together making a uh, presence uh, because uh, things have been a bit jumpy this year I definitely want to um, have more uh, diverse models ready for next year and uh, just uh, definitely keep working at the 3d printed stuff now to wrap things up I took a mountain of uh, photos generally as always whatever uh, took my fancy and uh, due to all the high quality work out there um, I probably took photos of uh, half to two-thirds of all the kits on display. They're on my Facebook uh, account under uh, new and uh, or events one and events uh, two in um, the albums on the McConnor Man Facebook page. Uh, there is every single photo I've uh, taken so you can have a good look and study of um, all the models on display. I had to uh, cut back and put my absolute favorites in this video, uh, not really discriminating any uh, subjects. So uh, that's definitely worth having a look. I'm going to put a link to the two albums. Uh, they got split in half because Facebook thought I was spamming, posting up all those uh, pictures and uh, giving them titles. That was uh, definitely a pain and something that I may have to address in future. But uh, overall, please enjoy those uh, photos. And I hope you've enjoyed this uh, general basic uh, event review. Again, if there's anything like this in uh, your local area, definitely uh, do your best to support, attend and compete. 
and uh, as you can see if you've uh, watched um, a few years ago my original thoughts going into Expo and my thoughts now uh, the culture uh, my involvement and the general fun of the event is completely changed and uh, anyone can um, especially a group of people can make a difference and it's just something that you have to get involved in and see what you can do as always thank you very much for watching and until next time stay tuned for more event reviews kit reviews and the usual content on this uh, channel the video will continue on to my uh, haul over the weekend the bits and pieces i have bought catch you all next time hello and this is my haul video for model expo first thing I pinched this lovely Gunpla Builders World Cup official poster. This was left at our display table to advertise the event. And now it's going to advertise the event on my wall. As always, I bought way too many models. And we'll have a look at it. Got the new Bandai Star Wars ATSD. And since uh, Star Wars uh, kits are really plentiful with the high quality Bandai stuff, the subjects people have been sitting on forever by AMT and Ravel and other brands have pretty much plummeted in value. And everyone is trying to liquidate, so... I grabbed that for myself as well as a while ago the Bandai version. The new Panzer 38T from Pegasus lovely kit I've already split half of it with a gentleman named Rant this will be reviewed after the Gunpla Builders World Cup as well as the Soviet BT-7 now these two kits were not meant to be at Expo and the store selling them was uh, not meant to have them they were meant to go to a different business uh, absolute mistake by shipping so he brought them to Expo in hope to sell them and I bought them a friend of mine brought this back from Japan, and I bought it off him because he had too many. These are just uh, 12 scale uh, guns with um, pervy box art. Petite Bear Guy it was a part of the worldwide uh, release in Australia about a week ago, and uh, Metro Hobbies had it in stock. I was able to raid, there goes my 3D printer. I was able to raid uh, all the traders before the event opened as uh, the president of our Mecca Workshop and uh, having responsibility to set up the club display table. Uh, in the swap cell, I did insanely well. I found the Airfix Sheridan. And what I believe is the kit of uh, the event for me, the Matchbox. Matchboxes are generally very, very rare. 176 Priest. I've always wanted a 176, 172nd uh, Priest uh, model kit. And uh, you got the original uh, Toy World uh, price tag and price and whatnot. Uh, this one is going to be a super fun build. I can't wait to get around to do that. Some really nice $5 Soviet parade decals in various sizes. I think this is for 35th, but um, we can probably get some 72nd stuff out of it. Super, super cheap $5 uh, Type 1 self-propelled gun. I plan to use parts for a Mecha Musume build. Last year I bought a lot of uh, 72nd Japanese armor. This time I've got a reference book for markings, information and color schemes. Uh, a Napoleonic era war uh, cannon with infantry. This is probably the rarest item I found. This is purely impulse, a James Bond auto glider. These things normally go for a lot on auction. I don't know if I'll build it or not, but I was just curious on unboxing it and looking at it. I might trade it on at uh, some point in time. Limited model Bandai 14th Angel. That I'm going to build at some point. I've got some of the other uh, angels I bought when I was in Japan. Genus uh, Custom. This is fairly cheap, also limited model. I've got one, but I'm going to build one. I picked one up for a mate. 
and last but not least a sentinel gundam s gundam the one with the big chunky legs I actually uh, want to do this one for next year's Gunpla Builders World Cup entry. I'm interested in its head, chest, uh, thruster detail and uh, gun, so I just wanted it for parts.